You know what I'm saying? These brothers, great brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? They still ate your eye on the low. Don't tell nobody though. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. All right? But listen up, man. Brother Joel, Brother Kano. What's the other two actual names? Salakia. Brother Bullard. Brother Malakaya. Right, hallelujah. Yeah. Brother Joel, Brother Kano, as y'all know, they started out with H.O.I. Yeah. And they still H.O.I., damn it. I don't care what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. Sons of Thunder is just another name from the Book of Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, man, I can say, without getting into our dirty laundry, we went through our bumps and bruises. But guess what, man? We forgave each other. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna like it, the hell with you. Right? Uh, uh, we forgave each other, and we're still family. Uh, right? By that time, the brothers was already out there doing the work, branding themselves. So we said, listen, man, we give y'all brothers our blessing. But listen, what we went through, we forgave each other. We had bumps and bruises. Counselors to five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but uh, you know, things went down. And I feel like Satan just broke up something here in Atlanta because he saw how powerful we was about to get. And we all fell victim to it, myself included as the elder. But guess what? These are still our brothers. We love them to life. Make the power of forgiveness, huh? Uh, forgive your brother, y'all can be one to spread. These brothers show me love. These brothers still reach out to me. They ask me for counseling, everything, but they still respect me as an elder and everything. Uh, and one of these brothers and ladies doing a hell of a work out there. Uh, and I'm gonna hit you with something, man. Brother Joel, Brother Kanal, all these brothers. They're examples of if you if you split or you break off from a camp or something happened, the most I'm gonna show if you're still about the work. Uh -huh. These brothers have went out there and they took SOT to a whole nother level. They got powerful young brothers out there, they doing the work. So listen, man, this ain't about me. This ain't about HOI. This is about your Howard and your Howard Shah's work. That's right. So you may have an issue with brothers, but if you get out there and you still do the work. And the most I still with you, I can't say nothing, man. Oh, and the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding, man. These brothers put in that work. You see them out there, you see them doing their thing. Everybody that hit us up, I listen to y'all, I listen to SOT, I listen to Watchmen, I listen to Sakari. There's about five of us that everybody rocks with. Oh. <laughs> Without to mention of these other brothers. You know why? Because we got a similar spirit. Uh -huh. We're unique in this nation, and that's not to be proud or to brag, but us camps that you hear mentioned together a lot, we got a certain unique spirit and we vibe with each other. Uh -huh. You know, this past year we fell back from certain things, not out of any hatred for our brothers, but HRI, we had to clean up our backyard. Okay? Uh -huh. And we had a lot going on with ourselves that we needed to step back for a minute so we can grow and do what we gotta do. It was never nothing against brothers, no love loss or nothing like that, but we just saw certain things and we said we gotta work on us right now. Okay? Uh, and I love these brothers, man. Our house is their house, and we, we gonna keep pushing this word. We gonna hit them from all corners and angles, and all crazy, uh, how about you, my friend? <laughs> Show 
from the comics are fine. <laughs> this is why I learned the Bible. This, this is what humbled my spirit and brought me out of the world and brought me into the truth. This type of instruction and this type of order and leadership. And, and this is what I model myself after. You may never see me teach and don't give credit to where I learned the Bible. I say that openly, it ain't no reason to hide that. That's the truth. I was a nigga in America. I was black and simple. And I found an elder that teach me the laws of God and, and how to reason with the scriptures. I thought I knew something. And, and I had a righteous, he, he taught me what I had was called a righteous jealousy. Because I could not understand how brothers could pull precept from memory like that. And I thought I knew something. It, it was amazing to me. And I said, I got to get like that. So I, I humbled my spirit. I was happy to be on the calls. And one day, Priest Box said, Joel, say something for me. Go! We love them to life or pray this forever and ever our And y'all still ate your arm alone. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Before a lot of y'all New York and New Jersey brothers 
if y'all paid attention to all the pull-ups before y'all was late, Joe, all y'all was right there by the side. He's sitting up here for a reason. He's sitting up here for a reason. But y'all need an HOI New York camp. On YouTube. Hey, real quick, I just remember something. Hey, brother, come on. Front and center real quick. The brother just, the brother just made me remember something. Bring it out. I remember I said, brother, come on. Right? Matter of fact, I'm going to let you tell me. I'm going to let you tell me. All right, so, uh, my first time meeting Jabbar, I had actually got out of jail that day for a marijuana <laughs> So uh, my wife told me, you know, come back home, come see the kids. And I was like, no, because I had missed HY three times before that. They used to come to the Little Five Point. I said, no, I can't. I got to do something else. I can't keep doing it. So I went out there and I stood out there at 12 o'clock. And that's when they said it was coming out. But you know. Hey, come on. Y'all all see me at 2.30, didn't pay no attention to me at all. You probably thought I was a bum. Uh, I stayed all the time and I listened, and Priest Abak was talking to me. This video is, is deleted, but um, Priest Abak said, you know, you never know, one day, two months from now, three months from now, you might be back here teaching with us. And when he said that, I put a spark in my head, and two weeks later, I was teaching with this man right here, and that man right there. Go! So, so I'm just saying that I was not being the teacher I am today, so I have to thank him, and I love him. Yeah. So we got testimonies up in here, man. We got testimonies up in here. Good? Hallelujah. 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 Shout out again to SMT. Warm your shout out. Warm your shout out. They still get your eye on the love. This brother. Now, I can't say that we'd be here till tomorrow. Man. <laughs> hey, listen, this is my aunt right here. All of your brothers are my aunts, Salakia. So like All right, but um, love this brother to life again. And this brother has come into HRI, and the brother has been phenomenal, man. Yeah. Uh, through, the, through the eldership and the direction of Chief yeah. Ephraim, Shawapar. Taking him on the pull-ups, Elder Chara, coaching him and guiding him in New York. Well, I'm, you know, I'm, I can be anywhere at any time. I'm on a plane somewhere. But these brothers was holding down New York and New Jersey like nothing, man. The scripture say one man plant, another man water, and the most high in the house shall bring the increase. So I think I've been planting New York forever. You know what I'm saying? And through the power and the spirit of these brothers, man, they came and they took New York and New Jersey to a whole nother level. Ah. And I have to say, this brother right here has been instrumental ah. in that. This brother is phenomenal. He does it all, man, from feast days, camp, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, I got going to come to Wednesday camp. I said, oh, it's going to be a watch out. That man said, the hell with that. That's We're going to do the most hard work, guys. We're going to find a scaffold. We're going to find something to We're going to be out there. Yeah. 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 You know what? You remind me of a young me and uh, Tara. Yeah. Then we used to be out there with the umbrella yeah. under the scaffold. Good. Good. I said, all right, I'm in New York, I'm busy, I'm trying to run around and do my last minute runs before I got to fly here for the Passover. Man, I said, well, that brother, man, I said, man, I got to dip through downtown Brooklyn now because I mean, haven't convicted me. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Yeah. how you say, OG, we need that new win. Yeah. Yeah. We need that new win sometimes. So, yeah. this brother, man, listen, man, I love you, all you brothers. Shout out to HR New York, New Jersey. Yeah. Where that brother? Yeah. Yeah. I love all y'all brothers, but I just
just got to acknowledge this brother, man. This brother has been a hell of a work. That's my young brother. I love him to life. And um, I'm ready to pass over to announcing. But um, earlier this year, Ariad asked him to be a spiritual father to him. And I was moved by that. So guess what? You have to pass over. I love you, son. And I'm the best. He's, a, he's an example of what the scriptures say. You know, a lot of people like to say this and that about the eldership, but he's an example of what the scriptures say. We're out of elder's footstep. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and be around an elder, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and learn from an elder. Because the elders have that experience. You know? And the brother came from the COVID. From COVID. And as soon as that COVID went down, you know what I mean? Me and the brother locked in and we said, look, this ain't gonna stop us, man. That's right. That COVID ain't gonna stop us. Right. You know what I mean? And, and we locked in, man. You know, and, and he like the brother said, anything you need, he's gonna do it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? And you know that, that's a testimony to the brother. But it's a testimony to all the other brothers, man. You know what I mean? I want to acknowledge the whole kid. HOI New Jersey because all of them since the COVID hit, they've been stopped. You know, they've been stopped. You know, all, all the brothers you see here, you know, all of them, they've been stopped. You know, they've been solid at all times. And they went to DC, man. And they put their life on the line. Right? Right? You, know, you, know, Paul, you know, and the great works that you from Michelle Paul did with the matter of this, man. Uh, and, and tell you what we what, what we was dealing with men. Like I said, we wasn't dealing with no little boys. We was dealing with men. So it was a big difference, man. And the brother stayed strong, man. So I just want to acknowledge all of them. But like I say, RBR, man, you know what I mean? You, you can't, you, you know, words can't say. You know what I mean? He's a man of action, brother. You know what I mean? he, he gets it done. You know what I mean? He gets it done. He's a, he's a man of action. You know what I mean? He's not a just word. One second, one second. I mean, he's not a just word, but power, man. The, brother, the brother's about action, man. You know what I mean? The brother got a samurai sword right now. Ain't nobody got a samurai sword. You know what I mean? This brother talks about it. He believes he can fly, man. And I tell you, he's going to fly one day, man. Fly to the Passover, man. With, with spiritual power. He's going to fly. He's going to fly. He's going to fly. He's going to fly. He's going to And the man brought the sword on the plane. Wow. I don't know, I'm just joking. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the man did. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just want to say something real quick, too. You know, the, the, the brother got magnificent works, man. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. You know, and because I, I paid attention, I'm still on the threads. You know, New York ain't abandoned me fully. You know what I'm saying? They, they still got me on the threads. So I'll be, I'll be watching. And, uh, you know, the brother, Marsha Malak, Levi over here, he, he doing city council work and all types of stuff in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have men in office like, like Daniel, you know, like Joseph, you know, they was in office. So the, the, the two times, and, and I seen it, I seen it was a, a text for that day and he was late on it. He, Masha Amalak was late on it. And the, 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 the first, and I don't know if he was the only brother, but I believe he was. Oh, Elder the, Mishael, the, the brother that popped up, and he ain't miss a camp, he ain't miss a, a feast day, and he was there. He don't miss a call, man. He don't miss a beat. You know, 
and he was there for Marshal Malak getting signatures to put this man in office. Oh. You know, I just want to bring that up. Oh. Another one of my favorite Levites in the building. The brothers are trying to run for city council in, in New York, man. Right. Like the brother said, we need brothers in office and everything, man. We're going to infiltrate the system. All right? We're going we gonna to get in the system and take it down from within. <laughs> it's a secret in spirit. <laughs> now we try to get up in there, right? Yeah. Uh, we try to, man. We try to get in public office and all that, man, so we can start putting and setting up things for Israel. So the brothers running for city council, and I saw the thread too. And I was, I was in town, but I was like, damn, I, I'm doing things last minute for the Passover, but Ariel was right there. Come, I'll be there. Come. Uh -huh. I don't even know how the man do it, man. I think the man. Be, I think the man be teleporting to different places, man. I mean that the man got a the man got a body double or something, man. That man is everywhere. The man managed to be everywhere. He's everywhere. And some brothers is nowhere. Right? I'm with him. Some brothers never there. I was everywhere. He was never there. You know what I'm saying? So I feel honored that the brother asked me to be like a spiritual father to him. Because even Paul said it, though you have 10,000 instructors in your house, shy, yet you have not many fathers. You know, and that's a heavy thing, man. You know, you can be a biological father, and then you can be a spiritual father. And there's a lot of young men in Israel, even in different camps. I don't always talk about it or brag or nothing, but they ask me to be like a spiritual father and guide to them. And that's an honor, man. So, so my brother, I love you. I'll do the best I can, and we're going to get this thing going. Well, yes, y'all. Right? And uh, as a footnote, the most I bless the brother with a beautiful wife. Yeah. 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 This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 151. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Sister Nia. I just want to tell the truth. And take a moment to be real, if that's okay with you. I just want to tell the truth. And take a moment to be real, if that's okay. If that's okay with you, yeah. I just want to tell how my people really, really feel. No more lies, it's the truth, and I'ma share it well. I shine my light on my enemies, I show and tell When we step up to us, right there like a sinner's cell Ain't no bell, what the hell, the system's made for us to fail Can't you see that modern day slavery is in the fell Slave ships is in the Bible, yeah, it ain't no fairy tale Trying to kill my people, all these Burger Kings and Taco Bells Life's funny, I work for my enemies When I need, I buy from my enemies When I go where I go, all eyes on me Maybe it's because I keep my fringes on me Now do you like like that, like that Them Israelites gon' fight back, fight back And my savior coming right back, right back You ain't gon' know what to do I just wanna tell the truth and Take a moment to be real, if that's okay If that's okay with you, yeah I just wanna tell the truth And take a moment to be real, if that's okay that's okay with you, yeah. If that's okay with you, 
Don't hesitate to do right when you could just turn on your light. Put all your sins to the side, let God be glorified. Christianity is phony. Church on Sunday morning, like all the lies. The pastor tell, taking all your money. Them dogs are always hungry. That's in the Bible as well. We can walk through them 12 gates if we do what the Bible says. And I bet you're gonna be okay, yeah I bet you're gonna be okay Many people find excuses always running from the truth When they crack the sky and cast his judgment What you gonna do? Seven day Adventists be pretending All these judges when they got my people sinning Then I tell you they don't have a clue We don't like that, like that Them Israelites gon' fight back, fight back Get my savior coming right back, right back Tell all your friends I see this again, yeah We don't like that Israelites gon' fight back, fight back And my savior coming right back, right back You ain't gon' know what to do I just wanna tell the truth And take a moment to be real If that's okay If that's okay with you, yeah I just wanna tell the truth And take a moment to be real If that's okay that's okay with you, yeah. And that's okay with you. You can keep on talking, ain't no stopping this. Keep on murmuring, ain't no stopping this. You can keep wearing your pants, ain't no stopping this. Try as hard as you can, ain't no stopping this. You can keep on tripping if you wanna, ain't no stopping this. Twitter fingers if you wanna, ain't no stopping this. Flexing all on the gram, ain't no stopping this. Most high got a plan, keep commandments, yeah.